All right, last cut, last chapter, last chance to get out of here. Hey, YouTubes, I'm Grimwit. This is Masochistia. This is the last uh, last episode. I think it'll be a short episode. I cannot remember. Um, really, the worst is behind us. If you are, if you made it this far, you're not deterred by the epic darkness that is this game. So, Leon McDuff. So, I mean, like, can, can I look at the clock? What time is it? Oh, time flies. What's up, Doc? Albert, I'm not your lawyer. I'm not your priest. These things you speak of, these are dark things. No kidding. <laughs> dark? We're just getting to the best part, Doc. Yes, I see. You enjoy talking about this, don't you? Why do you think that is? Um, you're the one who wanted me to talk. Fair enough. You do understand that it is my job to question you. To probe. So tell me, Albert. You've done very terrible things. Young Billy, he suffered greatly. But why? What possible pleasure was there to gain in his agony? Why did you make him suffer so greatly? Uh, I'll be honest, Doc, because I wanted to. Yes, you've told me. Like a broken record. Are you trying to convince me? Or are you trying to convince yourself? Ooh, good move there, Doc. That's a good move. Making Big Billy suffer didn't make you powerful. It didn't give you the control you so desperately crave. Don't you see? Your decisions didn't bring you to this moment. Mine did. What? Okay there, buddy. Let's see what's going on over here. Hey, Albert. Uh, clues? Clues, Albert? How does it feel? Uh, feels good, man. I mean, feels bad, man. The weight is lifted from your shoulders. Your true self can emerge from its shell. Hey! Hey! You did it correctly! I'm so used to people putting an apostrophe in between the T and the S. Um... Honestly, I think I can finally breathe, Albert. You know, destroying humanity very slowly, one at a time, at uh, its very seeds, uh, I don't know, just fills me with joy. Because you can breathe. You are not judged. You are not despised. Don't you see? You're a killer. A murderer. But you will be remembered. Um, so when, when I mean, I, this is apparently the job. When can I kill again? Calm yourself, brother. There will be plenty of time for death. Perhaps sooner than you think. But the innocents are the key. Uh, wait. Are we not going after adults? Only with these sacraments will you find peace. Let us return to the messenger. The blood has been spilt. Hooray! The blood has been spilt. Woo! Yeah! Um. Hamilton, why? Why do you think we are like this? Why do you think we are this way? We did not ask for this calling, yet. We are. Yeah, I ask myself that question every day, crazy voice in my head. Man, do you think Hamilton ever stopped and said, like, God damn, wait a second, I just caught on. I'm fucking insane. Huh. Like, you think... It, it dawned on him at some point. Like, this is not normal. This is not fine. Like, this this is not the way to enlightenment. I'm not going to escape samsara this way. Just uh, just checking for Broface over here. And nope. Just checking. I 
Like, there had to be a moment, right? Seeing if there's anything this way. No? Alright. While he was, I don't know, putting needles into his own ball sack, which, incidentally, when the Gray Man was caught, they found that. That was actually a thing. I didn't make that up. Or when they found the body parts, you know, we're killers, aren't we? There's no we, buddy. There's just me. Then why do we keep, <laughs> then why do you keep talking to us? Can we not have a moment's peace? Nope. Narp. I am not a bringer of peace. I think you've, uh, been, well, I guess I can. And, but I think you may have caught on. Did you know the pills don't really change us? They don't really hide us. Oh, it's good to know now. Thanks for speaking up. Oh, that's right. We're going to talk to Michael. Okay, that legitimately spooked me. And the pills are our crutch. They were never anything more. Then why did we bother with them? Because for a time, we did need them. They helped us cope. Helped us rationalize. You know, when, uh, when you spend a lot of time making a raft and then cross the river with that raft, do you, do you keep the raft? Or do you just, like, leave it behind? Hey, wait a second. We didn't use a noose. I call shenanigans. And then there was the magic needles. You remember them. Sure, it was like two hours ago. How can I forget? Are you saying they had no purpose? Nay, they had a purpose. They existed for our pleasure. We use them because we want them. Sure. Hamilton, never forget the Alamo, the prescription on our pills is not the essence of who we are. We are who we are. You are not the contents of your wallet. You are not your prescription medicine. You are not your eyeglasses. You are the all-seeing, all-stabbing filth of the world. Oh! Whoa! Wow! You're looking buff there. Have you been working out? Looking, looking good. Yeah, buddy. I see you skipped leg day. Don't know if I would have done that. Our child. <laughs> How you've grown. Your feet are firmly planted on the path of our righteousness. But you will not walk this path alone. Oh, good. Friends, I noticed your nose disappeared. For we are the mouth. And we will all walk this path with you. Ah, uh, I, uh, I hunger for more? Hunger? One speaks words of a fitting description. You will hunger, and there will be more. For I have already seen the end. Okay. But you're the mouth, not the eyes. The mouth speaks with the eyes, see? Do not doubt what I see. I've witnessed the ending. There is blood and death. So much death. God, that's a lot of death. How many will I kill? For a time, you will count. For a time, you will care. So many young faces. Oh God, I forgot. Gray Man is a child murderer. So many you begin to forget their eyes. Their taste. Wow. Wow, I forgot we went there. How about I don't understand? 
Your sins will be great. Only the blood of the innocents can cleanse you. And true innocence can only belong to the children of this world. See, you sound like my cat. This is exactly how my cat talks. This is our modus. But in time, even their deaths will not satisfy your hunger, your thirst. A sip of the blood, a taste of the flesh. You will partake in this holy communion of blood and flesh. Take, eat, for this is our sacrament. Yeah. She was always the sweetest kill. She is destiny. Albert or, um, hmm, what happens if I talk to Al first? One dares turn their back on us? We're the darkness, render of sanity. You deny the mouth of God? Ah, uh, even the devil was an angel once. Tread lightly. A mouth is made to consume. And it is far too late to turn back. The blood of your father is on your hands. Blood for blood. Judge. Jury. Executioner. I don't need to defend my decisions. Oh man, that is badass. Like, can you imagine? Like, why am I here again? Oh yeah, the murders. Do you plead guilty or not guilty? I don't have to defend my decisions. <laughs> How you justify... But how do, how do you justify the child? His blood cries out from the warehouse. His blood, so sweet, so innocent. I regret it all or you forced me to kill him. See, I feel like there should be a third option where I'm still like, you know what? I don't gotta talk to you. Also, I just realized your ears are pointy. Are you an elf? You forced me to kill him. Yeah, that's it. Nah, I don't regret it. I speak, you obey. It is too late to change now. You need, you need not justify your actions. You must embrace them. Do you not see? There is no other choice. What's up, Grace? Our name. Is Albert. This is fate. Destined. Obey. Every trouble step you take, every move you make, every cake you bake, <laughs> brings you to me. That cold pit in your heart, that frenzied realization that you are, in fact, not in control. Listen and understand me. My life can feel out of control. But for every mistake I make, I realize it was my mistake to make. I may not control who I am, but I know what happens next. The cold steel against my brow. Goodbye, Angel. Ooh! 
Can't turn her away. I can quit the game, you motherfucker. Oh, I have a gun. I forgot about the gun. You've walked the step of death's dream kingdom. <laughs> death has a dream kingdom with the rainbows and unicorns. The harrowing eyes of those have gone before. How they line, how they line its shores. They stare back at you. They stare through you. They're not actually staring at you. You begin to realize we are but a passenger here. A choice, a single choice, can alter the course of our existence. A world of pain, of cruelty, undone by a simple decision. To have reached this place, you have blindly obeyed us. Are willfully chosen to cr or willfully chosen to cross that line between man and violent beast. A thousand violent choices in your wake. Now you seek to rewrite your past. We should leave you to your iniquity. What's iniquity? But no. We will extend our mercy. The very same mercy that you failed to extend to your father. The same mercy you withheld from Billy is now yours. And now you set foot upon the banks of the river. You join the ranks of those standing silently upon the shores. You turn your gaze across the river and behold, through the fog we see them coming. We see through them. We're not actually looking at them. Hollow men, the comedy group. Violent men. Sure. Um. Death is not the end. At least, not our end. We come as we are, and we are what you are not. You conform to complete the work. But in the end, you altered destiny. You, def you denied fate. But, uh, I mean, what's the point? What's the point, man? The point? There's no singular point. There was many things to be said for those who were listening, but just knowing that our journey in, uh, together got you thinking. That is enough for me. You just wanted to see what I would do? Perhaps. Perhaps not. But it's not my place to answer questions. These are both the same choice, motherfucker. Anyway, I've had enough of this. Oh, Albert. You still don't understand. You don't control fate. You don't even control when it is ends. I do. I'm the programmer. It was the programmer all along! Anyway, it just ended. Like, it just, like, flat out ended. This Our time is almost complete. Oh my god, this is actually in our desktop. But don't worry, I won't forgive you. Or forget you, sorry. I will always be here with you. In your heart. With your trans fat. Ah, anyway, okay, that was Masochistia. No, there isn't any credits. But let's load it up anyway and see if we can find some credits. Back, get help. Um, so, this game was about... Hmm, this game was about a serial killer called the Gray Man, which I seem to remember took place sometime in the 40s? I might have that wrong. And he was actually called the Gray Man by kids, because kids had this instinctual fear of this guy. As they should, because when they finally, like, caught him, shit's messed up, yo. God, what was his name? It was Albert Fish. I think that was his name. I remember thinking it was really weird that his last name was Fish. Anyway, how do we get credits? Is there a credits option? 
full screen and uh, there's no credits option well it's done by old boy whoever that is so I guess is there credits in here no all right well all right that's it <laughs> Albert Fish was a really messed up guy yeah that's putting it lightly like real lightly like at one point he was there was a psychologist completely obsessed with him because they had never seen so many overlapping disorders, mental disorders on the guy. Like, he wasn't just a masochist and a sadist and a pedophile. And, like, he was all kinds of messed up. Like, all kinds of things were, went wrong with his brain. And probably this is how it got started. Like, you know, beat by your dad who thinks you're a curse from God. And as a little kid, you'll believe that. And then who knows what the fuck you come up with. But um, anyway, so yeah, sounds like Clifford Olson. Clifford Olson. Why do I? That sounds really familiar, but I don't know him. I'll have to look him up. Is he the Iceman? Because I just did a thing on the Iceman. Um, all right. As far as YouTube is concerned, we're done. And I hope you enjoyed. It's not really something you're supposed to enjoy. But I hope you learned something. I think, I think we all learned something today. Be really nice to your kids and kids in general. Don't murder them. That's just rude. Uh, Canadian serial killer. Oh, then I don't know who he is. I'll have to look him up later. For everybody else in the stream, stay tuned.